daily news on breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Today is the 4th of uh, September 2021. Subscribe to the channel guys. Remember to follow us on all our social media platforms. We're on Instagram, Prince Miller Entertainment. Facebook, uh, Prince Miller Entertainment. We are available on our Facebook group which is uh, Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Daily news on breaking news comes to you guys each and every day, each and every hour, keeping you guys informed about events happening in and around Zimbabwe. And you guys, so, we welcome you to the channel. Welcome you to uh, daily news on breaking news and it so the bill the uh, ZNPF uh, faction under the Monica G40 says it is still alive and planning the takeover of the ruling party ahead of the 2023 polls several members of the G40 cover were wanted out of ZNPF and forced to exile following the November 2017 military coup that ousted the late former president Robert Mugabe key G40 members who were against then Vice President Emerson Nangagwa's rise, including Sevia Kasukwere, Jonathan Mo, others. Facts only, the overwhelming majority of the G40 in ZNPF's leadership and membership ranks were neither expelled nor left the party after the 2017 army coup. Moyo, a former higher and tertiary education minister and ZNPF Politburo member, said on Twitter yesterday, They are in it. It is precisely for this reason that the most strategic fertile ground for change in Zimbabwe is the ZNPF base. Moyo claimed that Mnangagwa was imposed on the people by the army. Mnangagwa was put out of government in ZNPF in November 2017 before fleeing to neighboring South Africa only to return and take over power after the coup. People's choice. You, since when? The real issue. Are you still the army's choice? Without the army, what the core G40 will finish you politically in broad daylight like it did before the 2017 military coup and in the 2018 election only for the army to rescue you, Moyo said. But ZANU-PF spokesperson Simon Kayamoyo yesterday dismissed the former higher education minister as a daydreamer. is hongwash. He can continue dreaming, he said. Observers yesterday supported Moyo's claim with some former G40 kingpin saying the real ZANU-PF re remained within the lower ranks and other strategic positions while a few Unelectable people allocated themselves to post. Not only legislator Temba Mriskwa weighing in saying in its current form, the ruling ZANPF was it, at its weakest. Ultimately, politics is about the ground, it determines who wins. There is a protest vote coming over issues of people's welfare and these factional differences from before. That is obvious, Mriskwa said. When people are tired of a certain narrative, they protest. ZANPF has been driving media. But on it has no traction. They failed to restructure the party, betraying problems on the ground. Blisco is a former ZNPF Marshallland West provincial chairperson. He contested as an independent MP for Norton after being kicked out of ZNPF in 2015. After the November coup, most G4 members supported Norton Chamisa's MDC alliance, hoping that the youthful opposition leader would unseat Mnangagwa in the 2018 polls, which later claims we are rigged so guys that's the question here do you think uh, the g40 can actually bounce back in zanpf and take over munoz when i say i told in the comment section this is our daily news on breaking news on prince milan entertainment tv remember guys to turn on the notification bell not to miss any of our new uploads we upload each and every day so people are saying with uh the current uh zanpf at the moment i know the cadet and the no matter as you go my street singer zeti uh is really towards my election and also remember kuti uh my election is all about number of people who vote for you do you think zanipf can pull it off in this upcoming elections in 2023 and so this is one of the most discussions that you're going to be talking about here on our Prince Miller Entertainment TV. So guys, you need to be part of us. You need to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell not to miss any of our new uploads. We upload each and every day. Follow us on all our social media platforms, Instagram, Facebook, and also on our Facebook group, which is our Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Daily news on breaking news on Prince Miller Entertainment TV. Thank you very much for listening and watching. Bless up.